What's up guys, my name is Lucas, welcome to another video on this channel. So, as you guys can see, the past 9 videos and I haven't only teased you a little bit of the application that I, I'm doing. And I'm gonna go a little bit of the a summary of the process that I've done and uh, because today I just applied to Apple and Google again to release my application. I believe on, on Google I'm gonna be successful and next week I'm gonna be releasing this, this application for Android and Apple I don't know, I'm not sure so I have to wait them because it's in review right now and hopefully, hopefully they're gonna release my app. <laughs> so what is, what is this application that I'm doing? And I believe that uh, there's a better way to, not a better way to do it rather than showing to you. And today I'm gonna showcase the whole application and what this application do and who's this application for and uh, what is coming next, right? So let's come with me, I'm gonna show you the computer now. Yeah. So guys, uh, I am recording here again because yesterday I discovered that everything that I had reco recorded was muted. So I lost the recording of the summary as well and I have to leave this for the next week. So sorry guys and uh, let's move on to the video. I don't know what happened but here I am again. So what I have on the screen right now is the application itself. So this is after logging. And uh, as you can see here is the timeline I've been talking about for, I don't know, two or three videos already. And I have like my research there. So you all know now that I have a timeline that can filter by countries, can filter by content, can, and you can like filter by type of your, the content that you want, article, meetup, or network. So what it this means? Uh, this timeline now gonna be gonna allow you to connect with other users. They are or either expats or people who live on that con the, the countries that is listed on the application. And you can talk to them and discover more about the culture of the country or talking about like life balance, work life balance, uh, expenses, and other stuff. But then uh, the main the main feature of this application actually is the plan feature. So what is this plan feature? So when I decided to create this application, I wanted to create a kind of set of, of, of flow that the user can go through and discover how it would cost to go to move to different countries. So first I wanted to do something that was proactive well, at the moment, I don't have enough data to do that. So I don't have enough data to train a machine learning model that it can be proactive. So at the moment, I'm more reactive. I have this screen here. When you go to the plan section and hit next, you have this list of countries with some percentage on it. So what this percentage means? So I train a machine, I created and trained a machine learning model that I could generate the percentage of chances of you based on the country that you're from to move to that country. So this is the percentage of approvals of, of users of users for a certain country to relate to the country that is listed here. So this is mostly European countries yet. So I have the historical data based on these countries. And uh, I, I have as well for US, UK and Canada but these countries, they, are, they, are, they have a different set of rules for immigration. And although these countries, they, are, they have almost the same set of rules. So here when you go, like for example, I'm gonna set up Denmark and you can choose what you want. You were a migrant, you were a resident, or you were a nomad. So this is set in different status of the user. So if you're a migrant and you wanna move like me, so it's a hit migrant. And then you, there you go, you go to the screen that shows the average cost of living of a family of a single person and average salary as a software engineer as I am. That's going to show there as well. And the visa, the visas, the visa list that that is the type of visas that you can get when you wanted to move to that country. So how they got this uh, information uh, somewhat accurate 
relate to my personal inputs. For example, I am a software engineer, how we get this. So before this screen, actually, if you not, if you're first on the application, it will show you this screen here. That's a screen call, that's a form. And on this form is the set of professions and countries and other type of information that actually I train my machine learning model and I, I so this information is is like the, there's a crucial information that the countries they're looking looking into about you that might gonna make them approve or not your visa application. So it can change here for this set of this set of professions that I have here. So all these professions I have I have actually the the cost the average salary from these professions on these certain countries and and this these jobs as well as are the type of jobs they I actually got got the data related to their chances potentials to move but it's not yet merged with that percentage that show here on this main screen so this is the main this is the main uh, feature of the application and what what I want to achieve with this machine learning Well, one thing that I want to do, and I said before, I want to make this machine learning be more proactive. So all these informations that is there, I'm working right now to merge them in a single machine learning, machine learning model that actually when the, the user click on next, it's gonna, it gonna gather the information that the user have and user in use something that we call multi-classification model. And then gonna get actually not options to you to choose but they're going to show to you uh, the exact country that you're going, to, you're going to have this percentage ready set there the type of visa you're going to try to get to be, be better approved for that country and the average salary and the cost of living we all merge together and not you're not going to be putting there that you're a migrant or either resident or you are a nomad it's just going to be there for you so that but the for, for the first for the first part of the app, I'm gonna need to get more data because I have this model set up already, but the data is still way, is still making the model going way off. So I need I need to, to improve my model. I need to do some fine tuning, then I can apply this model on my application. So that's it. That's uh, the application itself. So here you can post content as well that you you want to share with your friends or, or people that you're going to meet on the platform you have a page that's feedback it would be a actually a, a inbox and messaging part but i i believe like for the first version i st i'm still not ready to release the, the the this part of the application that's going to be a chat application that you can talk to other people in private and you have your portfolio as well so this is my portfolio and this is my this is my face there <laughs> so you can put your stack overflow your github there and you can add your resume too so this is going to be a portfolio that i'm going to be later attaching you getting your soft skills and matching with recruiters from the countries you're looking for to move so they that's the whole that's the that that's going to be the, the main things on the version 3 then I'm trying to bring recruiters to applicate to the application and match you with recruiters of the southern countries that you you choose there and so we're gonna be keeping tracking of this not we I because I am the application I am everything I, I talk about a little bit about my application and what's something I'm gonna do in version 2 and what is the future of this app so as you as you can see here, what I'm trying to do is create a framework. And this framework is gonna be a, I'm gonna to try to create a standard framework that the user can get into the application and he can follow up the whole process of his migration through the application. So for this, I need to achieve some stop, some steps first. I can't do this right now. And so for me at the moment, I have these big steps that I'm doing that to launch in the app and uh, it's been very rough, <laughs> it's been very difficult because once I applied to Apple, they, they have this, uh, this a lot of problems they came through, they, 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 they show me errors that I need to fix it and uh, some compliance I have to do in order to then be safe, legally speaking. 
So I applied again, as I said before, I applied again this week. I got approval actually. <laughs> and yes, finally, and I'm uh, gonna be releasing the app next week. I, you stay to you to stay tuned when it's gonna be live. You can follow me or you can follow the social media gonna link down below. And sorry about the noises. <laughs> and it's pretty much it for the moment. And see you next, peace.